Now, after we did all these settings to update our currency rates, uh, we create a supplier invoice in Chinese yen. So you have to take care to select the correct currency here, which means that you will register the invoice lines in the currency mentioned here. So I have received a supplier invoice for 20,000 yen. When I validate the invoice, this is what the entries look like. So you will have the amount in currency, also stating the currency code, versus the counterpart in US dollar. Okay, so according to the rate we entered, this is the correct US dollar rate. In my bank statement, I will register the payment for this invoice. I will add a date. I will add a reference. I select the partner. And I select the amount in US dollar because that is the amount that entered my bank statement. Since the payment is a couple of days or even weeks um, after the date of the invoice, there is a difference between a US dollar rate at this time and the US dollar rate at the time of registering the invoice. Now I save and I click reconcile. I select the corresponding invoice. So as you see, there is a difference. I click the plus here. There is an open balance, which will be registered to my um, loss account. And this one, okay. And now you see that the amounts correspond. Now, if I edit and enter the correct ending balance, I click close, and then I will show you the entry that has been created. So in this case, I showed you um, what it looks like when you don't have a fixed gain or loss account in your uh, settings because I removed them just before creating uh, this bank statement. But if you added these accounts to your settings, as explained before, so if you click settings, accounting, and you enter here the gain or the end the loss exchange rate account, the entry from your bank statement will automatically be proposed. So instead of having to enter the difference as I did manually, it will be entered and proposed for you. So this will save you um, minutes of time.